you're a teacher or a mom or a dad or a stay-at-home parent or uh, if you are in the education space and you're perhaps you're wondering what sort of passive income you can create. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be diving in some really hot, 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 hot niches in terms of passive products and digital products that you can create in the school or career niche. These are both incredibly popular niches with amazing products that sell very, very well. So you're going to want to watch the rest of this video to find out some of the products that you can create in this specific space. Now, before we dive in, I do want to share a few reasons why you do want to absolutely begin to create a passive income stream through digital products this year. So why are digital products an amazing way to make a passive income online? Well, several reasons. Number one, they are cheap to make. That means that um, it's very inexpensive to create a digital product. All you need is a Canva account. And if you don't even have any design skills, you can outsource the design to somebody else using a site like Fiverr. Number two, it's super easy and fast to make a digital product or a digital download, like some of the examples I'm going to be showing you in a moment. Why? Because a lot of the things that you want to be using for this passive income, you most likely have sitting somewhere on your laptop, on your computer, or it's some sort of spreadsheet, something that you already own, making it very easy for you to convert this to a product. Number three, it is super easy to scale your digital product. And in fact, when I created my digital product, I have several now, but the very first one that took off, I was able to generate $65,000 in 35 days from this specific digital product. So if this isn't a strategy for you to make sure that you are in on, then I don't know what you're doing, you're playing. But we don't want to be playing. And that is why reason number four, why you ought to pay attention to every single moment of this video is that digital products have incredibly high margins because it costs very little to create and it's one of those things that you know you create it and it's done you don't have to keep recreating it all the time it means that once you have created it everything after that besides obviously any fee that you pay to sell the product in terms of wherever you are hosting the product it is just 100% high margins 100% profit next you make it the one time and you sell it over and over and over again. You don't have to keep repeating it. It has unlimited growth potential, no overhead, and this makes it the best way to generate passive income online. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you, oh my goodness, digital products that you can create today. Now, this is research bags, by the way. I didn't just pick up some products to share with you. No, I'm doing research and I've hopped onto one of my favorite sites for digital products which is Etsy. I'm talking numbers so that you can see how much, how many sales these stores are getting for some of these products and all of that good stuff. You do not want to snooze on this video. So if it is your first time coming to my channel, then welcome. It's a really, really good to have you. My name is Pam Obasa and I'm the founder of The Lucrative Lady. And on this channel, I talk all things making money online. I specifically focus on sales, sales systems, social media, and strategy. However, this specific month on this channel, I'm dedicating the entire month to one specific income strategy, and that is passive income through digital products. So uh, if you like the sound of that, then you definitely want to subscribe because we publish three times a week and every single video this month is going to be on this topic. And of course, if you are a returning subscriber, oh, I love you. Thank you so much for coming back. You're going to love it. As usual, this is a good one. So let's dive in where I share digital products that you can create today and set up your shop and start making sales and passive income and all of that good stuff. Let's dive in. Let's look at flashcards. Now, for anybody who, if your audience are uh, parents or moms or teachers, etc., they would definitely benefit from um, flashcards, uh, which I love. So you have flashcards for toddlers, flashcard numbers, flashcard printables for kids, flashcards in Spanish. So this is a brilliant way to niche in. So you can create flashcards in uh, uh, different languages, um, you know, to, uh, you know, for different audiences, which I absolutely love. So for now, I want to just look at flashcards in, uh, you know, uh, in its uh, totality over here. So we have colorful flashcards, £5.50. Uh, these are blank flashcards for £3.99. Um, uh, let me see flashcards printable. 
Okay, because to make them digital, we want them to be printable, right? You don't want to be going to the post office and sending stuff out. No, we want them to be printable. So look, the printables are £1.79, for example, £1.37 fruit printable, £2.59 fruit cards, um, uh, 412 reviews. Oh, I can see the difference. Look at this. So this one, look at the picture. So this is £1.88. This is £2.52. But look at the difference in images. This one, the images really pop. So it's more 3D, right? So I can see as a mom of young children myself how this one, I think my kids will be much more excited to get a hold of this than this, which are just 2D flat images, whereas these ones appear to be 3D. So that's why there's an additional one pound on top of this, right? You know, so it's different. I mean, it all depends on what rocks your boat. But take a look. It's just, it's all roughly, um, you know, a similar price, you know, but this one is £5.50. How interesting. It'll be int Let's have a look. Let's open this and see what's inside this. Colourful flashcards, uh, teaching, resources, educational gifts, baby learning cards, home education, Montessori uh, over here. Uh, brilliant. Okay, so you can select different finishes, standard flashcards, laminated flashcards. Oh, I don't think these are printables, actually. No, these ones come to you in the post, hence why they are more expensive. So that's why. So if I go back um, over here, I really just want to look at the printables um, over here. Th these are, so the cheaper ones are definitely the printable ones, and they are an absolute no-brainer. Let's move forward. So the next one I want to show you, uh, next idea that I really love are fonts. Right, so you have font bundles, uh, different types of fonts, um, essentially. So let's open it and have a look. So if you are, uh, if you create fonts, you know, if you have access to fonts that you have pre-bought that you can um, sell on, then here you go. These are really brilliant um, bundles. So this is two hundred fifty thousand fonts ultimate collection. Wow, right. Um, so this is just over. This is thirteen pounds at forty nine. Uh, where else are we over here? So there aren't too many it depends on what you are looking for. So these I believe are paid, um, uh, so Victoria, these are Victoria fonts um, over here. So these are some specific um, uh, fonts depending on what you like. So if you create font, it, it really does pay to just come in and see what is on the market. What are other people selling? What can you do and how can you uh, make it a little bit uh, different um, for them uh, in terms of the target audience, etc. Um, but these ones, you know, with the red, it definitely jumps out at me. I mean, 250,000, 130,000 fonts, mega collection. When it comes to fonts, I think that if you're a designer, or if rather if your ideal clients are designers, then this is something that they would definitely be interested in. Next are funny cards. Everybody loves a funny card, right? So if you're going to send a card um, to a friend and you want to be remembered, you definitely want a funny card. Like, look at this one, for example. How ridiculous is this? It is hilarious. Have a cracking birthday, obviously. <laughs> cracking. I think we get the joke there. Um, here's a birthday hedge hug. Oh, that's cute. Um, so if, you, um, if you're good with, you know, with um, illustration, right? Cards are really, really good. Funny cards specifically because um, funny cards, I mean, some are sold in supermarkets and card shops, etc. But you will definitely find more online and people are turning to Etsy uh, more and more um, to purchase cards. And funny cards, you're going to be remembered. Look at this. <laughs> you're going to be remembered when you give somebody a funny card. So if you are good at drawing or at illustration, you want your cards to say something, then yes, um, funny cards would be good for you. The next one I want to talk about are cards by specific uh, nationalities or specific race. Now, I'm not quite sure how to type this into Etsy, um, but I know that I have certainly um, searched. For, uh, I've seen uh, a lot of the communities that I'm part of, uh, for example, cards specifically that, you know, specifically for Jamaicans or Africans or um, Nigerians or Haitians or um, uh, Spanish people or even uh, cards for black people, cards for um, Indian people, ch cards for Chinese people, etc. Cards for uh, white people I don't know right so you type in so I'm gonna I don't know I've never typed this in let me see what um, comes up cards for oh look at that cards for black women it means it, it, you know it seems somebody else has been typing this in so this has come up on the SEO that means that people are looking for this cards for black women let's see what comes up oh look at this 61,000 results over here right look at this right so if you are trying to give a card to a black woman 
and you want a card that represents her hello over here look at this one right in the um, african print uh, dress over here oh i love this look at this in the african print um, head wrap so you can see that people are looking for this african woman card five pounds um, and fifty um, over here right look at this people are looking for representation right let's have a look at this i love this so if you are um, if you're good with you know with drawing if you're good with creating this of which in fact my son can do this and he's seven years old i mean I'm not saying these are these aren't great they are brilliant i'm just saying that if you have a gift for illustration i mean it's pretty simple to create this kind of stuff look at that let's have a look at you know what's on the second page i'm really really inspired by this and you know um the, the, you know uh, black couple card look at this right these are cards if you're trying to um if, if you want to be represented or if you want to give a card to somebody who is really into representation which most of us are then then you might want to um look into this so these are uh cards for uh uh black women let's just for the sake of it let me just see what class for chinese women brings up okay so there's a lot less um results here so if this is your niche this means that there's a market there's you know there's a there's a gap in the market right here for you right so you could take inspiration from the previous listing that i just shared with cars for black women and create something that really represents you and bring it up here um because um a lot of people are certainly looking for this type of stuff so moving forward let's talk about some invitations specifically graduation So invitations are brilliant because they're very easy to design and everybody needs an invitation to something. We're all celebrating something. So in this instance, when I type in gravi uh, graduation invitation, we have, gra uh, pardon me, graduation invitation, graduation invitation, instant download. So let's click on this and have a look and see what we have. So we have over 15,000 results, which means that there is a market for this. Look at this electronic graduation invitation editable template. Can you see that 1,222 five-star reviews, which means this person has had at least three times the buyer minimum, right? Um, six pounds 43. Look at this one, editable, editable template, editable graduation um, party invitation, um, five pounds 27, uh, 2,157 five-star uh, reviews. So look at this, like it's a huge need here. People are really looking um, for this stuff. Uh, this one is uh, six pounds something. Uh, let me see if there's one. Okay, this is a little bit more expensive. Electronic photo graduation invitation. Ah, this is a video. How interesting. So this one is £10.99, but you can see over here that it's a video. So it's really worth looking at you know the different ranges so from this it ranges from five pounds to ten pounds 99 so far oh this is 11 pounds 21 electronic graduation invitation let's have a look 192 so they haven't had as many sales as the um as the other ones um let's have a look at the first one um actually which really caught my eye so here we go uh color match uh school colors how interesting of course so if we just uh click through you can see the various different color uh, schemes you know for your school etc so you have various uh different designs that you can use you can change the font and color match colors to your school or your photos replace photo with yours this is really 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 simple stuff uh, to create for sure so um, definitely a really good niche next one I want to talk about a post cards let's see if we have some postcard printable because we want it to be digital right so here we are a six mini prints postcard and um, here you go a pound right one pound ninety oh how interesting six pound eighty six ultimate british wildlife postcard i think this one gets delivered to you so this isn't a printable hence why it's more expensive uh vintage cards uh printable so the printable ones are a little bit cheaper because of course they're passive uh, products you don't have to do anything um to them but the ones that are delivered to you you can see this has free uk delivery it's seven pound fifty so it's more uh more expensive but uh in terms of printable let's see one that is a printable i believe this one is a printable uh mini prints let's see if it's a six mini prints postcard pack it's a really cute design look at this i love the colors right dogs are my favorite people born to be wild uh, you can do the thing i love i love uh, i do like the design it's very um 
uh, it's very good on the eyes, right? It makes me feel good when I look at it. So anyway, here you go. These are uh, uh, postcards that you can do. Moving on again with cards, let's have a look at greeting cards. So again, uh, for it to be a digital product, I want to make it a printable because I don't want to be going out um, to uh, to post anything. But uh, greeting cards, I, again, really, really simple um, to create. Again, it's a design thing. So here are some greeting cards. Some of them we've seen already in the other categories um, of cards. But as we, as we saw before, it's very easy to niche down, um, you know, when it comes to any sort of uh, greeting card. You know, as long as you have a really good um, sense of design, design an eye for design and a hand for design of course um, you can even outsource right you can even outsource this stuff to somebody else to design for you and then you put it in your Etsy shop that's how easy it is right so let me just have a look at the next page to see what else we can come up with so there are lots of cards 158,547 results when it comes to greeting cards in general so obviously a huge market I love this this is really pretty next one is digital paper So digital papers are um, really, really, really cool because you can use them for all sorts um, of things. So if we have a look at this one, uh, Valentine's digital papers, uh, JPEG, personal and commercial use. This is 30 papers, 12 inch by 12 inch. So if you wanted to print something, um, you know, perhaps to wrap a gift or to wrap a book or anything like that, um, look at this, really, really gorgeous, right? Uh, really easy for you to print this off if you have a printer and the beautiful thing about why would somebody buy this instead of the one that is sent to them through the door because you can print this off as many times as you want and use them over and over and over and over again so you can see another thing you can see when you open this is you can actually see how many sales it has had can you look at this 11,139 sales right at £1.89 I'm going to pull out my calculator right now and just do the quick math 139 multiplied by 187 or 1.87 1 1.87 equals 20,000 so they've made 20,829 pounds from selling this how amazing is that I mean this is just an absolute no-brainer 20k from selling digital paper this is absolutely incredible especially for Valentine's Day how beautiful is that absolutely amazing so following on from digital paper the next one I want to have a look at is art print let's have a look at art print so what are art prints art prints is essentially what it is where you create art and people print it off uh, on their computer uh, or on their printer at home and then put it in a frame like this so it's just a really really cheap way of having good artwork at home if you have a good printer then you don't need to pay for um, um, you know artwork right you can just have it printed so look at this for example if you bought this ready printed and in a canvas and all of that this might probably set you back I don't know 300 500 a thousand pounds I have no idea right and um, but you can print it up at home for 17 pounds 50 right for art print so art prints are really 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 um, uh, really amazing um, uh, to do actually and in fact I think that this is a really great way to encourage um, anybody who's into art um, to create art prints kids if you have a child who is really good at drawing into art get them to create some art prints and pop it on Etsy for them in their shop this is something that I'm personally going to be helping uh, my son to create his own Etsy shop he's seven years old but he's very good at drawing and um, you know who knows this might be the start of something for him so art prints are really really good moving on from art prints holiday cards holiday cards are brilliant uh, because when you're on holiday you want to send something um, to uh, you know your loved ones and there are different variations of holiday card so if we hold this down you have holiday card holder holiday card template holiday card set holiday cards funny I think this is a good one holiday card printable that's definitely one that we want to look at something that you can print um, at home so if we look at this there are obviously lots of Christmas um, themed cards because a lot of Christmas cards that you see in the shop are really really samey so if you want something a little bit 
bit more unique, you might want to come to a site like um, Etsy, right? Or you might want to buy a digital product or a uh, printable. So um, these are some um, really, really cool designs, some of which you probably won't see in you know, your normal Sainsbury's or Waitrose or Card Shop or Moon Pig, etc right so um holiday prints are um really really good again it's all about uh, being good at art or outsourcing the design let's look at printable lesson plans let's have a look so here we are so we have a teacher planner here weekly lesson plan um lesson plan template for a teacher planner it says here all different different designs different prices but they all have one thing in common it's still a lesson plan right so it's really really easy this is a no-brainer if you um, are homeschooling so you can imagine how during lockdown and the pandemic this absolutely would have blown up this is 70 pages let's see how many how many um sales they have made uh, they have made 5,290 5, sales. Star seller. Amazing, amazing. So the next on my list is printable stationery. So when it comes to printable stationery, you have uh, envelopes, paper, sets, borders, anything printable stationery. A lot of people love, especially business owners, uh, people who are, uh, you know, influencers, people who want their brand on something or just want something that's reusable. So you have printable stationery um, over here, which is um, absolutely brilliant. It's just paper, but it's designed really really nicely so again this is uh, pretty simple and um, to create and makes for a really really good uh, digital download and then there's another one that I love printable stickers uh, so you have lots of different options stickers for planners stickers for kids stickers with a bird design scrapbooking and journaling Bible journaling rather and um, so if we just uh, uh, have a look you have uh, 253,000 um, uh, uh, search results over there and then you have a lot of uh, stickers sticker options that people can just print and use um, at home so again it makes for a really good uh, downloadable digital uh, product because people download it over and over and over again use it in their planners use it in their notebooks and um, their bookmarks and all of these things and it works really well the next checklist is a study checklist oh I haven't spelled that correctly study checklist so study checklists, yes, they are a thing and people are looking for them. So um, I like uh, I like the look of all of them. I'm going to look at this one because it has 609 uh, reviews, which means it has had probably triple sales uh, for that. The store itself is called Heart Eyes uh, Paper and it's 9,117 sales across the store. And so you can see that it's literally one, two, three, four, and it's a checklist. Um, for you and it's uh, it's got five colors uh, included I believe so you can choose uh, which color you want to use and it's going to help you this is a digital download once you've completed your purchase you will receive an email from Etsy which will include a link to download your files instantly uh, alternatively your files will also be available to download in your purchase area please note this file is non editable and is made to be printed as it is oh how interesting okay so this is a non editable one but look people uh people like it so there you have it so the one the other thing is in the teaching niche and it's worksheets for math so if we go to maths worksheets you can see um over here uh again a lot of things are um, available to really help children uh with mathematics so if you're a teacher if you um you know are good at creating worksheets etc and what i like about these is look how plain they are because they're supposed to be right there for learning so there's no design necessary it's literally just about placing them in the right place etc and people are buying stuff like that even though yes you can find this stuff online um, people are coming to Etsy and are buying them because they find great value as well as maths um, worksheets you can also have worksheets in pretty much any subject so if I type in English worksheets let's see what we um, have here again writing sentences and uh, um, sentence uh, writing 100 sight words you can see over here uh, sentence helpers beginner sentence writing 
50 sight words, verbs, and so on, right? So again, if you are in the education niche or if you are a mom who has created some of these for your children, then this could be something that you could turn your hand into. Yay. I hope you got a ton of value from that. I'd love to hear from you in the comments which of these products really piqued your interest. Let me know. And of course, um, don't forget to check out the boot camp. Well, during the boot camp, I'm going to help you to nail your niche and decide on the perfect product for your audience. We're also going to be creating your marketing and sales strategy. And the goal is that within seven days of the bootcamp, you will have started to generate sales using the strategies that I'm going to be teaching you in the bootcamp. It's called Passive Products Cash Flow, and you'll find the link right below this video. So make sure you check out the description section below this video, and hopefully I'll see you there. If you're still here till this time and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me to see what is working and what you like so that I can create content a little bit more like this. So check out the links below this video, and of course, check out this playlist where I share a lot more about creating passive products online. I'll see you in the next video.